Well, look who's back. I know I told you that that was the last fireside chat, but um, apparently I lied. I, I didn't know I was lying, but here we are again. And the reason I'm here is to bring you up to date on just some ongoing decisions that are being made by the elders of this church. We met again on Sunday afternoon trying to keep abreast with things as they develop uh, in the county, in the state, in the country concerning the coronavirus. Now, so this evening, I have uh, an update of how things are going to operate this coming Sunday. Uh, may I say, as I begin, I know that those first two weeks requiring the mask was a difficult thing, but Gracie Van, you pulled it off with great grace. And I, I applaud you and I thank you. Now, this coming Sunday, things will be a bit different. Um, here we go. We do want to require masks while we're in the halls or other common areas. Guys, do you remember that survey that we did? We sent you the survey and we asked about your coming back to church. Well, two-thirds of you all express concerns about crowded hallways. To address your concern, what we're doing is asking everyone while in common areas that they have a mask on. However, once you're seated in the sanctuary, um, found your place and, you know, put your purse on the floor, uh, you are welcome to take your mask off. Now, with this one other provision, singing. Guys, we don't know who to believe whether singing broadcast particles or not. It just, it's all so confusing. And I know that you've read some of the same articles that I have. But to err on the safe side, what we're going to ask you to do, if you would like to sing while we are in that portion of the worship service, put the mask back on while you sing. As soon as the song is over, you can take the mask back off. By the way, children under two need not be concerned about wearing any masks. Now, one other provision. If you are still so hesitant to appear in um, any kind of public setting without a mask, we will have Wood Hall set off for you. Um, if you would like to come to Wood Hall, the service will be streamed right in here to you. Mask will be required at all times for those who see that as necessary. So there is a place for you if you are, um, if you're still thinking that the masks uh, are, are something you really feel comfortable with. You can come to Wood Hall and their mask will be on the entire time, but not in the sanctuary. So I, I, I hope all that's clear. Now, just a couple of other quicker things, I hope. You do know, I hope, guys, that if, if you or your children have any degree of fever, please stay home. Um, don't, don't come over here. I mean, I, I, I hope that doesn't insult you. I, but if you've, if you've got a fever, um, you need to, need to address that first. Um, I also would say to you, uh, parents with small kids, I, I ran into a mother a couple of weeks ago, and she brought her, uh, I think it was a four-year-old and a six-year-old, and she brought with her some Legos. And the kids just did fine in the pews, right beside their mother, playing with the Legos. Uh, they, they weren't listening real closely to my outstanding sermon, but, but be that as it may, uh, do that. That's something that might be workable for you. Now, um, <coughs> pardon, pardon me, one other thing. Guys, um, our junior high and senior high ministries are beginning to ramp back up. Uh, there's, an, there's a couple events this week with junior high and senior high students. We as leadership here at Grace Evan want to continue to encourage, strongly encourage, social distancing. But mom and dad, you know that your teenagers, um, 
they aren't social distancing, are they? <laughs> um, and, and we don't know that we can control that. We're going to encourage it as the leadership of every event that takes place um, in, in those student ministries. But we don't know that we can properly enforce it. Uh, so, you parents are going to have to make a call. If you are very concerned about that social distancing thing, which you know your kids are not observing when they're away from you, um, then you might want to keep your children at home during these events. We'll do our best to help you uh, enforce that while they're with us. But we just don't know that we can, um, can succeed in, in, in that venture. So, um, also, I think you perhaps have heard that we will um, have Wednesday night services here in the building starting June the 10th. Now, guys, I, I think that's about everything uh, that I need to bring up. Um, if there's something that I missed and I left out and I forgot, I might just send, send out a GOL. But, but there you have it. That's the new parameters beginning this Sunday. And then a couple of weeks from there, the elders will get back together again and assess the situation that, they, that we face two weeks from now. We're trying to move slowly. And I, and I hope you understand and get that. But um, give us two weeks with these new parameters, and then we'll see what happens after that. Guys, it's been good to be with you these last two weeks. I look forward to seeing you next week. In fact, instead of looking out over a convention of bank robbers, I'll be able to see your face, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for listening.